I'm standing here out at the range today with Tony Birch of Flint River Armory. He's got a real nice little uh, 45 carbine here, and I'll let him tell you about it. Go ahead, Tony. Well, first of all, I just want to thank Mr. Gwynn for letting me come out. It's a, I'm a big fan of what he does on YouTube and just really respect his work, but uh, it's an honor to get a chance to come up here and see him. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is our 45 CSA. CSA stands for Carbine Short Action. It's a true billet gun. Uh, it's a piston-driven gun. We have uh, released it about five or six months ago, having a lot of success. And uh, I just knew this would be one of the best ways to get the word out. Is come see Mr. Gwynn and let him do a review on it. Uh, we, uh, I travel around the United States and do a demo. I've been in law enforcement about 22 years. and So I go around doing a lot of demos for it. And we're just real proud of it. We're, uh, we're located in North Alabama, uh, a little town called Scottsboro, Alabama. We actually... Um, had been in machine work for about 35 years and then we partnered up with Front River so now we're Front River Armory but uh, we're, we're super excited and uh, I just appreciate the opportunity to come out and let everybody know about our product. A couple of things I noticed about it right off with the lightweight you know most people when they're doing a they want to make a, a pistol caliber carbine they can just do a blowback it's a cheaper way to do it but you got a heavy bolt and all that stuff in it they're heavy guns but you went to the extra effort to do the piston driven and that's a good thing it gives you a better a better operating system and a better carbine overall i think yeah it shoots it shoots lighter at least felt recoil and it's cleaner you know we, we have two uh, o-rings in our in our piston system it, it keeps it really clean and that was a the thing they uh, they worked on this for a couple years before they released it because you know you need it to go bang uh, I'm in law enforcement. I use one for entry weapon, and we just we wanted to be real reliable, and that's what we're really hearing how reliable they are. We had one demo gun that uh, I think was running about 2,700 rounds through it for without cleaning or oiling it before we got any kind of uh, misfeeds with that. So we're and that was shooting everything from wad cutters to hydro shock. So another thing I really noticed right off is the quality of your magazines. You know, a lot of people try to use surplus magazines, and and they got different specs on them. You know, like people try to build guns like around an FAL magazine. There's so many different FAL magazines out there, but it looks like, so you're building your own mags, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, they, we are. Um, and a lot it's of a double stack, single feed, right? Yes, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're really proud of these. We put a lot of time and effort in these. We knew that uh, for a gun to operate right, we had to get this right. So we, and people like it that they're they're all steel and you can actually open it up and clean it. You know, it's not a... How many rounds at home? It holds 25. 25. Yeah. And I was, I was wanting to touch on the fact that we put the charge hand on the left side. That way you don't have to take the business hand off the off the business here when you're when you're racking. We, uh, we actually, <laughs> sometimes we'll be showing out and I'll have a vest on. I can actually charge it off my vest. That's cool. And uh, all the uh, the trigger mechanism is all interchangeable. They are. We, we, kept it. we know there's a lot of aftermarket stuff where people like to trick out the trigger. So all the housing for, for the grip and the, the trigger system is all interchangeable. They are triggers. Okay, and your buck stock adjustable, of course. Yes, sir. And uh, the, I guess the buffering side look like an AR buffer. Is that correct? It is. It is. We. Uh, it is. A lot of people think we had to beef it up. And we didn't. And the reason we started with 45 first is because the low pressure of 45 is the hardest to make run in a gas piston gun. And we uh, we're fixing to go into production of nine millimeters, tens and forties a little bit later. But we wanted to get the 45 because it was the biggest bear in the room. And once we had it where it operated really smooth. The nine, the tens, and the forties—they'll fall in. But that's the reason we started with the forty-five. I like the bolt with the four lug bolt. That looked really nice too when we had yeah. the part looking at it. It's good, good beefy, strong looking, you know. So yes, don't look like it'll give you any problems. So let's do a little shooting. Yes, sir. Sounds great. Shoot it right where you want it to, don't
There you go. There's no recoil to that thing, is there? That's cool.